What's up everybody, it's Stefan here from Mod to Fame and we are back with another video. This one should be pretty cool because we're about to find out if a part that a lot of people buy really works. All right, let's jump into it, let's go. All right guys, so today's video is actually being brought to you by Pedal Commander. What is Pedal Commander, you ask? Well, Pedal Commander is actually a, a throttle booster application, is what I like to call it. And what it allows the throttle to do is, uh, let's rewind. Going back to the difference between um, new technology cars and old technology. In one of my previous videos, I was saying that how I broke the gas pedal on my Dodge Challenger Hellcat was I was stomping the throttle so hard that it actually snapped the mounts. Now, why was I doing that? Well, it comes with old habits, and old habits die hard. Uh, old habits of having an older car with a drive cable system that if you react quicker, the throttle body opens quicker. But when it's drive by wire and it's all electronic, no matter what you do, it's pre programmed by the manufacturer to open the throttle body at the same points no matter what you do. The only times it changes is if you put the car in sport or in the case of the Porsche that we're in right now, Sport or Sport Plus. That's the only time the throttle mapping changes. Pedal Commander actually offers you the ability to change that by installing what we're about to install today. So I'm really interested to see what the differences are gonna be between uh, my stock pedal response and this Porsche Panamera Turbo versus this Pedal Commander throttle booster or throttle controller system is what they call it. Really interested to see. Well, the thing that I'm looking forward to improve the most is this vehicle, when I step on the throttle, I notice that there is a delay between when I step on the throttle and when something actually happens. It's probably milliseconds, but I feel it. I would love for that to disappear. If that happens with this product, then we are fully behind it, and I would strongly suggest you to do it. So let's find out if that happens. First, with a test ride, We'll do it now to see. I'll show you what I'm talking about, but with the delay and response. All right, let's do that now. Let's see. All right, guys, so let's start this test run. Um, right now, I have a, a camera so that you can see the gauge cluster uh, and see the response. What you're gonna listen for right now is like a click from when I slam the throttle and then how long the response time is. That's what we're trying to see. Is there any difference? All right, so. Let's go. So right now the car is in a normal comfort style mode. The throttle response should be in that same type of mode. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. You're driving along normal and you want to accelerate now. So click. Did you guys see that delay? Did you guys, you heard the click. We'll do it again. Click. Now go. Do it one more time. Click. Now go. Right? So some of that is turbo lag, but turbo lag aside, it's doing it on its own. Now, let's put it in sport mode. Sport mode is going to downshift it, and we're going to do the same thing. Driving along normal. Click. That was better. As you saw, the, the needle jumped uh, as soon as I hit the gas. But we'll... Uh, We'll drive it in normal mode. So this is driving like normal in sport press. Cool, better. But there's still like a slight delay from when I click the pedal to the point where it, you know, jumps, where that needle jumps. All right. So now we're in sport plus. This is full sport plus right here. Sport plus, what it does is it holds the gear. So it holds the gear in the optimal uh, range so that when I step on it, it gives me the fastest acceleration. Let's see if there's any delay at all. Click, there was definitely a delay. Even in Sport Plus, there was definitely a delay. Watch this again. Click, then the needle moves. Click, then the needle moves. Click, then the needle moves. One thing I can say though, when these turbos spool up, good God, this car is really quick, man. But even in Sport Plus, I do notice a delay. So that's what I hope to fix with the Pedal Commander. Uh, hopefully all of that goes away. So we'll go back in just a regular comfort mode and let's hope for the best. 
if you guys don't mind indulging me for a second, what I'd like to do is just a quick unboxing to see what's included in the Pedal Commander throttle control system. So it comes in this pretty cool box, which is really nice. And look at that, the instructions are right there. Seems pretty simple. Basically what you're doing is uh, removing the wired connection to your pedal or to your, uh, your throttle. And what you're doing is intercepting it by clicking in the pedal commander system, which is now going to control that throttle or the signal that goes to that throttle. This is pretty cool. This looks like some sort of cleaning application so that wherever you want to mount your pedal commander bracket, you can and clean it off before you do that. And that's the bracket that I was talking about right here that your pedal commander will snap into. Cool little pedal commander decal. And one thing I'm really interested in is there's an app for the pedal commander that is for Android or iPhone. I'm interested to see uh, how that works and how that looks and how it integrates with the system. But this is the unit itself, pretty straightforward. So we got Eco City Sport and Sport Plus, which kind of mimics the car itself. So as you can see, I got Sport, Sport Plus, or if I don't have it on at all, it's in like a normal comfort mode. Or I guess you can say if that's the case, mimicking Pedal Commander in Eco mode. And just like I was saying before, based on the instructions, you have one side that goes to the pedal and one side that goes to the sending connection, which is which you'll see mimicked here. So now let's see how do I install this in my Porsche Panamera. Before you start the installation process, you want to make sure that the car is off. You want to take the key and put it somewhere far away because sometimes the key can still send information back and forth. What you want is a complete disconnection. Um, you want the ECU to be at rest. So I'm gonna go take the key, put it a little far away right now, and then finish this. I always put a towel on my floor, by the way. If you guys can't tell, my interior is like spick and span pristine. And I like to keep it that way by any means necessary. So I usually put towels down. I know I can get rubber mats, but I hate the way they look. Towels don't look any better, but oh well. Anyway, all right, so let's check out this pedal assembly here. I cannot be this lucky. This cannot be it right here. If this is it right here, I am going to freaking jump for joy because I was really under the impression that I was really gonna have to take a lot apart to get to what I needed. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this camera in a mount so that I can have my hands free. Give me a second. Okay, so I feel the clip, it's right back here. Let's see if we can pull it out. It looks to be a little bit harder than I thought though. I think I need to, I think I'm gonna just take out the whole unit. It's a little torque screw right here. I think it would be easier for me to see at least what's going on. Yeah, so just so you guys see what I'm talking about. See that little 15, uh, I think it's like a 15 Torx. I think that's what I'll just take out. I'll take out the whole unit, this way I can see what I'm doing. Uh, instead of trying to reach around because I can feel it, but I don't know if it's connected to anything else So we'll just uh, take it out completely hey guys So we about to knock out this install had to run over to AutoZone though and grab a, a Torx bit set I didn't have a T15 which is what I think I'll need to get this done. Let's see if I'm right uh, Hopefully I am All right, we'll take we don't even got to take this out of the package It is not a T15 it's one of the big ones. Let's see if the T20 is it. Uh, all right, so I did figure it out. It is a, it's a T27, this one. So I'm gonna take this out right now using the T27, and then I will clip in the uh, pedal commander. Okay, and it just unhooks. You just pull the pedal up a little bit, and you unhook it. And now, we should be able to unclip this oh, okay that's how it works it's a push down this is what it never came out all right guys so note to self do not try to do that yeah that's sweat do not try to do that without a flathead screwdriver do not try to unplug this plug right here you see this plug right here bro don't even waste your time unless you have something to prowl with what i did was i stuck it kind of in here because this clip right here is supposed to release when you press it. 
but it just kept coming right back up and it was not releasing. So I went and got a flathead, put it in between there and it finally let loose. So now we can plug in our power commander. Save yourself time guys. So now we got our pedal and we have our pedal commander. All right, let's get it plugged up. The good thing is this is kind of idiot proof because the prongs are different sizes. Apparently this size goes into here. Plus it's the same type of clip and setup. One, two, three. There you go, you heard it click. And now this one should be easier to take out than the factory pedal was. So we got that part done. Now what we wanna do is take this part and put it directly to the factory cable. So it's pretty simple. You now take this female, put it to this male and push until you hit that click. And then the same thing on the other side with the pedal. So you hear it click, there you go. Now we have our pedal commander connected. So now I'm just gonna simply hook this pedal back in the same way that I unhooked it. And I'll tie that up later. But for right now, we just gonna put our Torx back in and that's gonna be it. All right, so let's get this uh, app loaded up. We'll go to the Google Play Store and we'll search Pedal Commander. Pedal Command, look at that. Came right up, Pedal Commander. And we'll go ahead and install it. I accept 10.8 megs. That's gonna load quick and it did. Pretty high rating uh, on the Bluetooth uh, controller um, through the app. So this device is designed to include throttle response, blah, blah, blah. Yes, to avoid any possible issue with your engine. Yes, okay, cool. Okay, so now let's figure out how to connect. You're about to connect to Pedal Commander Bluetooth unit. Please press continue button after you are sure that your ignition is on and your car is active. Yes, it is. Save Bluetooth devices. Add another device. It is scanning for device. Two found. We do not want to use the Bose system, so we want to use the Pedal Commander. Please enter the code behind your Pedal Commander. The code on our Pedal Commander, I'm not gonna tell you guys. We got it, please name your device. We're gonna name this device Panny, because that's what this one is. We're gonna have another device because I will be adding this to the Hellcat. And there it is, guys. Look at that. So here you go, the car is in uh, Sport. It's Sport is highlighted and it's Sport Plus 2. So now we can change it, look at that, on the go. And see what happens? It now changed to Sport 1. Uh, we can change it to City. And look at that, it changed to City. That is sweet. So now we can tuck this away. I'm gonna hide this completely away. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but I'll show it to you in a future video. All right guys, so our pedal commander is connected. Um, let's go ahead and start her up and see if we notice anything different. There, that's off. That's City, Sport, Sport Plus, off. How do you do Eco? Oh, press and hold for Eco mode. Let's see if that makes a difference with the revving. Yes, it does, wow. Look at that, that's me trying to rev it now. I'll move it in a little closer so y'all can see it. But look, this is trying to rev on eco mode. It's so lazy. That's like foot to floor. Okay, if you really, but it's like so delayed. That's crazy. All right, cool. Now let's go to city. Okay, cool. So that's like normal. That's like my normal comfort mode. Let's go to sport. Wow, as soon as I touch it, I can see it already. Look at that. 
and let's go to Sport Plus. Wow. Wow. I can see the difference. Holy sh That's pretty damn cool, man, to have such a quick response. Now, I wanna see what happens if I put the car in Sport Plus and I put the Pedal Commander in Sport Plus. Let's see. It's building boost too, look at that, you see that? In the top right corner, right here, watch this. I never used to see it do that before, just at idle revving. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go up the block, see how it feels. All right guys, so it's go time. Uh, add a little bit of oil so that uh, we can get on it a little bit. My oil was a little low. Let's go see if this thing makes a difference. So as of right now, we got the pedal commander in city. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to sport. I guess I gotta learn what the one, two, I mean, I, I could kinda assume what it's for, plus one, two, three, four, that uh, it's the aggression in which it comes on, I guess, but we'll play with it and find out now. Pedal Commander in the Panamera Turbo. Here we go. So, just driving along normal. Let's punch it. I'll be honest with y'all, that was absolutely no better. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's see if we can get that a little better by increasing its sensitivity. So that's now sport plus two, right? So driving along normal, comfort mode, punch it. That was better. That was definitely better. Um, the downshifts are not happening any faster, but the pedal definitely responding quicker okay let's match sport with sport in the car and see if the combination of the two um, help to bring it together I'm pretty excited man I'm, I'm, I'm really hopeful like I felt a little bit of a difference but I can't really say that I saw like I felt a large difference just now Appreciate that, man. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Getting a thumbs up in a penny right now. <laughs> That's pretty dope. I definitely, oh, okay. There we go, yes, yes. I think it's starting to learn it. Wow, okay. It is definitely more responsive. Like, I could play with the throttle a little bit now. This car never really did that before. It would be like sleeping, okay. I definitely feel a difference. I definitely felt the, the throttle response there. Okay, like, I don't know if y'all heard it, but I was like, huh, 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 huh? Like playing with it just now, the throttle response. So you gotta put the car to match the pedal commander, I guess. In comfort mode, it's just, it's not gonna work. So, you know, we'll see what's up. So now that's Sport Plus 2. Uh, let's go Sport Plus 4. So now it's in Sport Plus 4. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes. Like, as I bounce on it, I definitely feel it. That's pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good. I, I like it a lot. Damn. I'm, I'm kind of really afraid now to see what... Uh, if I put both the car and the pedal commander in Sport Plus. Let's turn it down a little bit, right? Let's go down, back down to Sport 2, and let's go to Sport Plus on the pedal commander and Sport Plus in the car. Let's see what type of response we get. Oh, shit. yes. I barely touched the throttle. Whoa, shit. this car is leaping, bro. Oh, shit. Wow! Oh, oh Yo, these are natural responses. I've never felt this car feel like that before. Wow, it is sharp, y'all. Like, too much. 
wow. And as soon as I touch the throttle, the PDK transmission just wants to jump to the right gear in order to like throw me forward. Now keep in mind, this is in sport. Damn. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna calm it down because it's, it's, it's a little too aggressive. Holy sh All right, but ah, oh, F it. Let's go all the way. Let's take it to the tilt and turn plus one, plus two. God, that is violent. That is violent. That's, that's sport plus, uh, plus two right now. God, that is violent. Jesus. Oh, wow. No, this is too much. Wowzers. Oh my, look at that. This car never, never responded like this before. Holy cow. People are looking at me like I'm crazy because it's leaping forward. All right, cool. We're going to take it out of Sport Plus now. I think, I think for like normal driving, I feel like, like normal spirited driving, I feel like Sport is going to be great. Sport, and I would say plus two is gonna be good enough for like normal spirit, yes. Yes, I like it. Yeah, I think this is it guys. This is all I need, sport plus two. I don't need no more than this man, that was, wow. Jeez. What I wanna try now is eco mode. And automatically, as soon as I put it in eco mode, wow is lazy as hell. Foot is to the floor right now. Foot is to the floor right now. Nothing happening. I would definitely say eco mode is, I wouldn't use this to drive around the city eco mode. What I probably would use it for though is if I'm, if you just on a big open road and you wanna maximize your gas mileage, I would suggest, yo, this, it feels like something is wrong with the car. Like legit, it feels like it feels like something is wrong with the car. I would probably use eco mode for it. Like I said, if I was on a long trip, open road, and I just want to maximize my fuel uh, consumption, I would use this eco mode, which is probably a good idea right now because we're pretty low on gas. And uh, I actually got it in this video because I don't have time. Now, guys, I know I said I would show you in a future video of me tucking it away, but I did it. It was so quick. Um, so basically. All I did was, I just stuffed it between. Uh, so this is the pedal commander wire. I put all the wires in between the firewall and the carpet. And the unit itself is right here. You can barely see it, but I have it tucked up in between the carpet and the dash, basically. And with the uh, app, I can still change it. So look at that cool you can't even tell nothing is there granted if i go to a dealership for any warranty work i will be pulling that out so that it's undetectable so long story short or short story long whatever you want to call it does the pedal commander work is a question that we all ask is it worth my money should i spend the money to do it well it depends on what you hope to get out of a out of a car me personally i always felt like this car had a very lazy uh, throttle response and I feel like right now the car is in sport uh, the car itself is in sport the pedal commander is in sport and plus two and I love it I love it I, I love it's like responsiveness like it feels like it knows it's reading my mind now the transmission feels like it knows what I yes you see that I blipped the throttle and it dropped the gear and I barely blipped the throttle I love it this pedal commander combined with a tune god I, I mean i think the panamera is going to be very dangerous this is going to really help me from those like roll races too like when i want to do roll racing and i want to go against like you know cars that are maybe naturally aspirated and help getting to my boost quicker this pedal commander is really going to help and then combining that with a tune, which is something that I definitely want to do um, next. But to answer your question, should you 
by a pedal commander. If if you like snappy, responsive throttle when you want it on demand, I, I would highly recommend it. I would highly recommend it because now you have complete control over the car. What else could you possibly want? Anyway, guys, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod the Fame. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. The more engagement that we see from these videos, it tells us these are the type of videos that you guys want to see. I'll, I'll be honest, I'm enjoying making videos like this for you guys. It's, it's very different than our normal review or our normal event coverage, but man, is it fun. Here in the Panamera, with some more testing of this pedal commander, we out, we out.